And well, tone deaf is one way to put it. Foolish is another. Um, entitled is another. You, you, you have this job as a police officer, and now you think you're entitled to... Uh, to make a media production out, out of it. Criminal defense lawyer Tom Engel is talking about this Save the Date video made by an Edmonton police officer. He won't say how he learned about the video, but says it's full of problems. You have his girlfriend in a BMW ripping by him uh, at a high rate of speed. It's on a public road. I don't know if they blocked the road off. It's just uh, conduct unbecoming of, uh, unbecoming of a police officer. In the video, after the officer pulls over his fiancée, she handcuffs his wrist to hers and they walk down the highway together. So he obviously gave her the handcuffs, you know, for her to use. I mean, it's all, it's all bad. If he's got time to do this, that's another, another little piece of evidence about uh, in support of defunding the police. Because, see, he's on duty. He's on duty at the time. It's not just the uniform, but if he's got that police vehicle, he's got the use of the police vehicle, that must mean he's on duty because you have to sign that, that police vehicle in at the end of your shift. Angle isn't calling for a firing, and neither is Edmonton Police Chief Dale McPhee, who told City News Wednesday that EPS didn't authorize the video. Was it authorized? Absolutely not. Chief McPhee explains the video was supposed to be private, but was shared on the internet by the person who shot the video without the officer's permission. He says the issue will be dealt with internally, and the officer has taken full responsibility. It's not to rain on the love parade, but, uh, you know, are we going to try to throw the book at him like some other people are saying? No, absolutely not. That'll be dealt with at a divisional level. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.